In question number 16, it is given that second, fifth and ninth terms of an AP are in GP. It is already given that the uh, AP is a non-constant AP, so the common difference of the AP is going to be non-zero. Suppose A is the first term of this AP and D is the common difference. So we can clearly see the second term is going to be A plus D. Fifth term A plus 4D or is the case ninth term ho jayega, A plus 8D. Since these three terms are given to be in GP, so what we can say is this common ratio is going to be the ratio of these two. So common ratio equals A plus 4D upon A plus D and that is equal to A plus 8D upon A plus 4D. One of the method can be we can multiply and get a relation in A or D or the second we can use uh, the concept of ratio and proportion in which we can see if it is written X upon P equals Y upon Q. So this is same as X minus Y upon P minus Q. Now if we are using this formula here, this is going to be A plus 8D minus A minus 4D. So this is going to be 4D and now here you can see this is 3D. Since D is non-zero, so this common ratio of this GP is going to be 4 upon 3 and hence the answer for this question is going to be 3. In question number 17, first we want to explain, suppose there are 3 terms, distinct terms like X plus Y plus Z raised to the power N. And we want to find out the dis dis dissimilar terms in this expansion. So what we can do is we can use uh, the Vegas method in which we can uh, divide n identical coins among three Vegas. What we can see in each in the in the terms of this expansion, the sum of the powers of x and y and z is always going to be n. So if we suppose ki the power of x is a1, a2, y, and then z is a3 and that is equivalent to n. So n we have to distribute among these three. So this is going to be n plus 2c2. So in such kind of expression, we can see the total number of different dissimilar terms is going to be n plus 2c2. But suppose if this is like 1 plus x plus x square raised to the power n and we have to find out the different dissimilar terms in this expansion. So what we can see, we will get a constant term like, like a0 then there is a term like a1x and finally the highest power of x is going to be a 2n x key power 2n. So what we can see is that total number of terms is 2n plus 1. If we will took judiciously, we can see this problem falls into this category because these two are functions of same variable. Not like this where the variables are different. So according the true uh, number of terms in this expansion is going to be 2n plus 1. But if you will see 2n plus 1 equal to 28, none of the answer will match. Now if we take these three as three different terms like this and we calculate the total number of terms as n plus 2c2, then we can say n plus 2c2 equals 28. And from here we can see this is n plus 2 into n plus 1 equals 56 and from here n you can see n equals 6. So here we will get n equal to 6 and if we are talking about the sum of the coefficient of all the terms in this expansion we must put x equal to 1. So this is 1 minus 2 plus 4 raised to the power 6 and that is going to be 3 key power 6 that is 729. So by taking this assumption the answer is going to be 1. But in two sense, the total number of terms is 2n plus 1. So here the question contains some error. If it is x, it is y, then the answer will be 729. And if we have to select an appropriate choice among the four choices, then the answer will be 1. But we must recommend a bonus in this question as these two are the functions of same variable.